Heading into February 2024 as a TikTok affiliate, there was a lot of things I needed to figure out in order to execute a great strategy to earn some money because we all know it is up and down when it comes to this income. Currently is August 2024 and I hit my first day of making $555 for commissions. For this entire week, I have made no less than $200 and that has been consistent for the past month and a half. I want to say that what I am talking about in these videos from January 2024 leading up into current is what helped me get to this point. It's all about strategy, learning, taking information from others and implementing it in your own way. And I'm going to be sharing with you the exact products I sold in February as well as how much I earned and other things that's going to be helpful to you in some capacity because what I did can definitely be duplicated by other people in their own way. If you're new here, my name is Shay. I talk about the Amazon Vine, Influencer, and other programs I use to make money. So in order for me to get to making any kind of money in February, I started off figuring out what problems I needed to fix from January. And you can find that video in my description box below, as well as the playlist is going to have all the videos from January to current as I make them every single month. Now, what I have found is that there are many things we can look back on and say, you know what, I got to do better. And here are the four areas I wanted to focus on and that you can look into seeing if this is something that can help you as well in your strategy. One thing we all can agree upon is we want to increase our income every single month. And this is the first problem I definitely wanted to do because in January, I didn't make that much. And if you didn't see that video, I have a link down in my description. I realized that many people who talk about their products um, and how much they made on a monthly basis, on a weekly basis, are sometimes focusing on things that gives them a higher commission. So if someone makes one sale, they make $15 or $20. And I was not doing that in January. But I also realized that, that these products they talk about, I don't want to talk about. I have no relations to that product. So me making a video is not going to feel genuine. It's going to feel forced. So I just don't do it. What I found as a solution is going to be, let's talk about products that are essential and are a need for many. This is what I do as an Amazon influencer. And I'm just taking what I already know to work in one area and see if it works in this area. So that's what I'm going to try to do to help me increase my income. Because if people need something and find it essential, they will buy it over and over again. And more people will also buy it. Even if my commission isn't really high, multiple people will help that commission grow and make a lot of money. The second one is going to be more views. In order for us to get more sales, we have to get our video seen. So how am I going to do that? So a solution I'm going to focus on is trying to research and learn what others do. I love TikTok because everybody is so open about what they do and how they do it. Most people aren't really helpful. They want you to sign up for something. They don't give you no information and that's a turnoff. So when I find the ones that actually give you information that seems to be helpful, I like to take a little bit of what they say and implement it in my own way. And that's what you should do as well. People are open to helping you learn from what they did. And that's what I'm doing with these videos. So I like to research and see what they do and then try different methods based upon what I have seen and what I have learned from and just literally do the throw it against the wall and see what sticks and what works best for me because I can't make videos how he makes videos or she makes videos because that's not what I want to do. I have to make it so it correlates with how I want to move in the program. And that's what you want to do as well. Make it so as so you can make this content to get more views that is easier for you and not much of a stress. The third problem I have, I know we all can relate on, is better products. I look back at my older videos and see the products I talked about and I wonder why I talked about it. I knew it was because I really didn't understand what I was doing. I didn't understand what I should talk about. And this is why I didn't get much traction. As time went on, I started to see what others were doing and trying to realize the audience that I am trying to target. And I focused on products that were the need and all those other things. But it also comes down to what products do I have that will make others react to a video? Because I personally don't invest in any new products 
typically at all. If I'm getting something, it's going to be from a free sample or something that I already have in my possession. I did invest while I was an Amazon influencer. That worked out, but then I stopped because I just rather keep my money in my pocket <laughs> and make it from the video itself. But also, if you're going to be a person that talks about any and everything, it has to be a product that any and everybody will definitely want. Because again, the more products that are more engaging or it sparks an emotion from somebody, that's how you get more money. So I needed to really figure this out quickly because the longer it takes for me to understand what products will work, I was not going to make a lot of money. So this is a problem I definitely needed to get better at quickly so I could see an increase in my money. And the last one was my video quality, which was okay, but the video was just terrible. When I see my old videos, I'm like, what was I thinking? It's because everybody was just saying, oh, it's so easy. Just throw a video up there. People will watch it. And that's not the case. And that's not true. I had to go about, again, looking at what others were doing that has the high views and seeing how I can implement that into where I am and what I wanted to give to this program. I figured out a strategy starting February of, you know what, let me just try different ways of creating my content and posting it. This way I can see which way that I like to do resonates with most people. And then I can just play around with it with other videos, but I'm going to keep it consistent in a in the sense. And then I'm going to only do voiceovers. I have children at home. I'm a stay at home mom and I do this full time, but I also homeschool my kids and I have kids. They're all under seven. So it's a loud noise most times in my background. So knowing when will be the best time to do a voiceover to help versus trying to make a video and talk through it with all this ruckus in the background was a big eye-opening for me because I realized that's not good for people who are watching my video. I had to make these decisions. I had to figure out ways that I live my life and how I can create the content to make it be much easier, less of, a, less of a stress. But I also had to figure out how long are these videos and what's the setup of these people and how they're doing it based upon their product itself. What do I need to do and show in the background to make it be more engaging? All those things matter. And it's all about just seeing what others do seeing how you can implement it in your own way to help you while you create your content to make better videos. So what did people purchase from me in the month of February? Starting from the very bottom, we have an emotional support poop. This came about because I kept seeing this guy's video pop up on my app about this emotional support poop. I was able to get me one and I did a little bit of what he did in his video. I used some of his hashtags and I got one one sale. I wasn't really feeling the product. I was trying to follow a trend of his video, but it didn't work out too well, but I did get one sale. So there we go. The second product was the Swedish laundry detergent. Now TikTok for some reason said, Hey, let's give her some free samples. So when I logged into the app, they said, Hey, here goes some free samples. So I was able to pick a couple products that I felt would resonate with people that I also wanted that I knew I could talk about in a efficient manner to make a great engaging video with less work. And I got one sale. The next two products was a Bitve water flosser. Like I already had this in my possession for over a year and a half. And then I realized, oh, this was also on the TikTok shop. So I did a video for it and I got two sales. I didn't really know how to make a video for this because this is a faceless channel, but I got two sales overall. The next one was also a part of the free samples that I was offered from TikTok. I browsed through all the products that was available and I chose this because I didn't need it. I do know people love makeup and they love organizers and they love to keep their bathrooms organized and clean. So it all just fit perfectly to being a good product for me. And I got five sales in this month. Now to make this video short, I'm only going to talk about the next two. The other ones will be on my blog. And I'm also going to share with you the actual viral video that was the one of my viral videos that gave me the most sales. So we have the portable clothes dryer. I got that as a free sample because again, I also love talking about portable washing machines. I use them all the time. And that was just to go with what can help me when we travel as a family. Got five sales for that. The next one was a portable softest 
heating pad I've ever had in my life. And I was like, oh, this is going to be great. Why? I love heating pads. Everyone female wise will love them too, because monthly cycles and people who experience aches and pains or whatever can definitely love this too. So for this one, I got 15 total sales. Now getting into some more data, I received 79 followers in the month of February. And now we're going to talk about what I actually made. I made a total of $196.47 estimated commission. In my last month video, I didn't go into the settled earnings because I actually made that amount, but I'm going to do that for it because many people are under the impression that what you see people talk about and post about with the estimated commissions is how much they make. And that is not the case. When people make an actual purchase from TikTok, you have the option to cancel that order, even though your purchase goes into a bucket of estimated commissions. So if 30 people made a purchase and it came to $196.47, that's going to always show for that month in the TikTok app. But what you receive in your bank account will be different because those 30 people, five of them could decide, you know what, I definitely don't want that and cancel that order. That cancellation will not subtract the money from the estimated commission that you see on your profile. So you can't 100% say someone made $20,000 in that month because you don't know how much actually settled, how many orders were canceled, and how many orders could have been frozen or not eligible. Those things matter. So for me, I went from $196.47 to settled what I got inside of my bank account, $169.13. Not a big difference, but I did have some cancellations. Some people had buyer's remorse or whatever the reason is. And I am still happy with that earnings because it is a lot more than what it was last month. 